far are you going? About 30 years. Steven Spielberg presents Back to the Future, a Robert Zemeckis film. Marty leads an ordinary life. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Well, history is going to change. And 1985 is not his year. But Dr. Brown is about to change all that. Are you telling me you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? He's sending Marty 30 years back in time. Now, he's trapped in the past. This has got to be a dream. About to meet... Chocolate. ...his future father. He's a baby. Tough. Wow! And he's making an impression on his mother. He's an absolute dream. And he can sleep in my room. Ah. Anything you do could have serious repercussions on future events. Now, he's got to make his mother and father fall in love. For crying out loud, I haven't even been born yet. And only Dr. Brown... <laughs> can help him get back to the future. Are you telling me that this sucker is nuclear? Precisely. Michael J. Fox. Whoa, this is heavy. Christopher Lloyd. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? Back to the future. Do you remember... The future. You've got to come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Are we back? We're back. What do you mean we're in the future? October 21st, 20. Future. I gotta check this out, Doc. Look what happened oh. to your son. <laughs> oh. He's a complete wimp. Don't talk to anyone. You've been looking. Taylor! No. Don't touch anything. I need to borrow your hoverboard. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And try not to look at anything. I didn't invent the time machine to win at gambling. I can't lose. I invented the time machine to travel through time. Hey, Doc, I'm all for that. What's wrong with making a few bucks on the side? Now, the time continuum has been disrupted, creating an alternate 1985. There have been a few changes. It's like we're in hell or something. No, it's Hill Valley, although I can't imagine hell being much worse. But they'll all be back. Eat less, slackers! Biff? Hello? Hey. Hello, anybody home? Why do they can't be you? You're so big. Michael J. Fox. Christopher Lloyd. Michael J. Fox. More like a couple of teenagers, you know? And Michael J. Fox. Mom, is that you? Steven Spielberg presents a Robert Zemeckis film, Back to the Future. Gotta get back in time. Part 2. From out of the west, in a cloud of dust, a thunder of hooves, and a mighty... Great Scott. I know, this is heavy. Indians! This summer, Marty and Doc go back one more time for their greatest adventure of all. Doc's living in the past. Dallas Friar, tenant! But he's about to be history. What kind of a future do you call that? I'm going back to 1885, and I'm bringing you home. It's the last roundup. Come on, run, 
It's the final showdown. Hey, right now, jerk. Where Marty makes a name for himself. What's your name, dude? Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. What kind of stupid name is that? Doc meets his mate. You saved my life. I'm a pro. I just said this. And Tannen meets his match. I'll hunt you and shoot you down like a duck. It's dog, Buford. Shoot him down like a dog. Michael J. Fox. Where'd you learn to shoot like that? 7 Eleven. Christopher Lloyd. There's a fella that can't hold his liquor. <laughs> and Mary Steenburgen. I never ever met a man like you before. <clears throat> Gentlemen, excuse me, but my friend and I have to catch the train. This summer, Steven Spielberg and Robert Zemeckis invite you... Come on, Marty! ...to the Rough Rider. Ah! Rip Roar. Rootin' Tootin'. Straight Shootin'. It's just a hold up! It's a science experiment! Rousing conclusion of... Back to the Future. To the future, part three. We were sitting in the theater waiting for the Royals to come in, and I realized that the seat next to me is empty, and then it dawns on me that Princess Diana is going to be sitting next to me. The movie starts, and it occurs to me that I'm like, like a fake yawn and an arm stretch away from being on a date with the Princess of Wales. visiting my parents over the summer of 1980, came across my father's high school yearbook. My father had gone to the same high school that I went to. And I'm thinking, if I'd gone to high school with my dad, would I have been friends with him? It really is, for me, and arguably the greatest time travel movie ever put on film. If we would have done something different at one moment, would it have changed our whole lives for the better? I think it's the best thing that I've ever written. I mean, along with Bob, of course. Zemeckis and Gale really found lightning in a bottle. And you probably have one of those in you in a lifetime. Lightning in a bottle tends to stick around for a long time. Universal put us in touch with a product placement company. They said to me, if you change the DeLorean to a Ford Mustang, you'll get $75,000. And I looked this guy straight in the eye and I said, Doc Brown doesn't drive a Mustang. Back to the Future knows no boundaries within a certain country. It's worldwide. It reaches everyone. It has such resonance with what we're trying to do with Secret Cinema. You can be anyone you want to be, and you can do anything you want to do. They want to be Marty McFly. They want to travel back to the future. They want to fall in love with their mother. I'm joking. I actually kind of connected a little bit with George McFly. He's a guy that was an outcast. He had big dreams. He had big goals of being this person that no one else thought that he could be. Here's this iconic piece of so many people's childhoods just sitting there falling apart and rotting. Something's got to be done about this. Let's restore it. I'll do it. It's great to have a bunch of lunatics on your side. We maxed out that card on a DeLorean. What are they doing with that car? They drive around the country working for Michael J. Fox's charity. They're crazy, but they're crazy good. It was the right thing to do. Life has taken us places we really never knew it would take us. And that's what Back to the Future is about. The movie defines the taste of butter popcorn. And of course, they picked the right song. You haven't seen Back to the Future until you've watched the 25th anniversary edition on Blu-ray. Whoa, this is heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? Universal Studios brings to you... Hello? Think, McFly. For the first time ever... I finally invent something that works! Each film in the groundbreaking franchise on Blu-ray. Back to the Future. Well, we're going, we don't need road. Back to the Future Part 2. Smile, Doc. Back to the Future Part 3. Featuring all new 25th anniversary restorations for perfect picture and perfect sound. Great Scott. I know, this is heavy. Each film includes hours of interactive bonus features, plus brand new interviews with the cast and crew. Okay, let's shoot. From director Robert Zemeckis and executive producer Steven Spielberg, Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly, Christopher Lloyd as Dr. Emmett Brown. Ah! 
to the future. Own the complete trilogy on Blu-ray. Also available on DVD.